Thank you for viewing this demonstration of the Amazing Charts Practice Management System. In today's demonstration, we will be looking at additional front desk functionality, including managing referrals, prior authorizations, recall summaries, and managing appointment status from the front desk screen. So I'd like to t start with the Manage Appointments pane. You will look at today's date and will display all the appointments for that date here. The Actions column contains several actions that will either affect the patient or the appointment. So if I click the chart link, that's going to open this patient's chart. If I click Details, that's going to open the details for this appointment. If I click the Check Eligibility link, that's going to run a manual eligibility check for this patient for this appointment. This is different from scheduled eligibility checking, which is something we encourage all practices to utilize. The idea behind scheduled eligibility checking is that you run your eligibility checks a day or two in advance so that you walk into the office knowing that eligibility has already been verified for all appointments for that day. However, you can also manually check it by clicking this link here. We could print the encounter form if we needed to for this appointment. And then the last three links, check in, missed, and seen, those control the status for this appointment. So I can mark that the patient's been checked in, that they have missed the appointment, or that they've been seen and the appointment has been completed. And I can do this here from the front desk screen without launching the scheduler. Next, I'd like to take a look at managing referrals, prior authorizations, and recall summaries. But first, I'm going to open a patient's chart. So I'm going to go up here to the patient search pane. And I'm going to type in the patient's last name, which is Baker, and click Enter. I could also click the search button. I'm going to click their link, Marie Baker, to open up her chart. So there are open panes right now for incoming referrals, prior authorizations, and active recalls, but only because I already have data in the system for this patient under those categories. For an example, if I did not have an active referral, this pane would not be open on her chart until I did have one. So we'll start with the incoming referral. I'm going to click the link here to open the existing. Before I do that, I'm going to scroll back up here to the patient demographics pane and this is where I could add a referral. So if I wanted to add a new one, I would click this link. I'd like to look at the existing. So I'm going to come back down and open this existing referral. So this is a referral for my patient to go see an asthma specialist to get a breathing treatment. I've selected her insurance plan. I entered the reason, which is for an asthma treatment. The type is an insurance referral. The referral number, I entered that. The date it was received, the date it was approved, the effective date, and the expiration date. So the important part about the expiration date is that for my patient to continue to see the specialist, they have to have an active referral. And if the insurance company sets a date, I also set a reminder date. So since my referral expires on 1231, I set a reminder date for 1226. So that's going to have the system prompt me on 1226 that this referral is about to expire. And if I need the patient to continue, I've got to contact their insurance company to extend that. We also have the ability here to set the referral for a max number of visits, which this one was approved for five. The status is something that can be managed here in the system. So it is, it is marked as received right now because it's active. I could come in later and say that it's closed or voided after it expires. The source provider is the provider, my provider, Mr. Costello. And then there's a, also a target provider. So that's who the referral would be for. So if I made any updates, I could click Save to update and then I can close the Manage Referrals screen. And again, if I needed to make a new one, I would just, from their patient demographics, I would click the Add Referral link right here. So next, let's take a look at the prior authorizations. Similar to the referrals, if I wanted to create a new one, it's the link is right here from Patient Demographics. However, I have one, so I'd like to take a look at that. So I requested a prior authorization for her to have a breathing test, which is a little bit different from 
having to go see the specialist. So it was initiated by us. It was requested on 12-1. It was responded to from Blue Cross Blue Shield of Rhode Island, who is this patient's insurance carrier. I selected their plan. The provider performing is Dr. Costello. The treatment is a breathing test for asthma. And there's an effective date, expiration date, and then again, a reminder. So if I needed to extend this, I could just contact Blue Cross again. The prior authorization number is something that I recorded here into the system. I could have also set a max number of visits or max cost if that's how it was defined by the insurance company. And the status was requested. I've received a response and I have a prior auth number so I'm going to change this status to approved and then I'm going to click save. So I've just updated the status in the system to show that this prior authorization has been approved for this patient. The last thing I'd like to take a look at today is the recall summaries. So recalls are around the idea that your patient needs to be seen again in the future for whatever reason but they're not ready to book the appointment so you can set up a recall this patient right now has two active recalls but again I'm going to scroll back up to their patient demographics pane if I needed to add a new one I could just click add recall link however she has two so I'm going to just look at her existing ones I'm going to cl click the view change link to open this recall so basically she is due for an annual physical now once this has been either sent out, whether it's a phone call, an email, or something in the mail. When she calls in to make an appointment for this annual visit, and I'm on the scheduler, and I set up the visit for that, for the reason of, of an annual visit, I will be prompted by the system to close the active recall. Thank you very much for your time today uh, looking at additional front desk functionality.